to shop a little bit. Maybe some eggs, milk, and then we can uh, go maybe. Hopefully the wind will come. And I will start to prepare. I think we will need the Fölström today because there is not much wind, but it will come more, uh, a little bit more anyway. So we're going to Inish Boffin today. It's like 30, 35 nautical. We're leaving Round Stone and I don't want to bring out the camera in the rain. We have uh, destroyed one camera in the rain, but it was in the pocket then. So Round Stone Arts and Craft Village. Didn't buy anything except no. milk. I liked uh, Round Stone. It's nice to be here, but um, it's good to go in the rain, which is also yeah. lovely. We have, uh, the rain has kind of stopped a little bit anyway, and uh, we are sailing. And uh, I think uh, this is more wind than they promised actually. Yeah. So we're doing really good. We are on a really high tack just to clear a little shallow area there, but then we can come off a little bit. But there is and then we'll drops. make really good speed. There are some drops of rain. Yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, I was maybe. Too positive. I wasn't too positive. The sun, sun yes, came out. Huh? It's good to be positive. It's more fun it's than more to be fun. negative. What do you think? Yeah, it is definitely. And especially when the sun comes up. Yeah. And you're right. We are not doing super much speed, but uh, yeah, as we said before, we are on a very high, ta high tack. But soon we'll ease off like 10 degrees and then we will be flying. Yeah, here you can see the shallow. So it's a 1.2. And uh, yeah, you see it's even dry when it's uh, low tide so I don't want to be too close to that one and then just we will zoom down around there uh, and then I think that will be like a very good wind and that downwind and then in this puffin over there uh, I can show you on a bigger uh, scale I will do north up and I will zoom out now so you can see Ireland. So we are like, yeah, halfway up Ireland. So uh, I, I just told Jeanette that I'm having the course and the steering that I do from inside the cockpit and she has to be out there adjusting the sails because it is raining. I think this is a fair deal. I think she likes to be out there. Otherwise she shouldn't be there. Or? So what do you think? These Irishmen, they are hard guys. So that we have a guy in a small boat you can see a sly head in the background. Kind of net that they are taking out. Anyway, I, I, I think you prefer your job. I prefer? Your job. I prefer my job, yes. Yes, and that is to adjust the sheets and uh, yes. control the sails. We are just about to pass uh, Slime Head and I'll show you on the chart. So I can halfway switch up. to north up. Yeah. So, so that would be halfway up. The Irish coast. Yeah. And mm. there is Slime Head. I will show you outside as well. Mm. 
And there you have it. Getting a closer look at Slime Head here. Looks very pretty. So we're just turning the corner here, doing but some adjustments. Uh, the lighthouse looks pretty newly renovated or <laughs> looks, it looks really nice. Yeah. So you you are undressing? Yes, I need to pee. You need to pee. Well, you have a very good position there, don't you? And now we could also change sail to the Pearlstrom. Pearlstrom, yeah. Can you see it there? No, I can't see it. Oh, it's behind there somewhere. I will see if I... Oh, it's a lot of swell here. Yeah, there it is. Looks good. Perfect. And now I have also raised it from the bow a little bit, so it should be coming up. I think this uh, looks good now. We are getting closer to our destination. Uh, English Buffin. Going between two islands here, I will show you. There. And then we have another there where the fishing boat is. Lolita is behind in the fog. Wife is in the dog house. Doing the last bit into uh, Inish Buffin by engine. Yes. Uh, yeah, because we got the wind, dead downwind, and it was like only like seven, eight knots or something. It was that? not. And the main was blocking the Pearlstrom and yeah. And we decided we have had a very good sail, so it was. Oh yeah, it was a very good one. You can see there the ferry is leaving, and soon we will take down the main, and then we will come and find a little nice anchoring. Yeah. But there is no anchor ground today. No. It was too short of a day. It was, was not, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't have it every time. No. Inish Buffin, and there were some boats here before. There was a uh, few. So there's like three, maybe four boats. There is the big pontoon. And in there is the old harbor. And we will see the depth in there. We might be able to go in there, but we'll check that tomorrow or later this evening. And uh, waiting for Lolita to come. And then we can just um, have some dinner and relax. So there is a ferry coming with cars. That was that was a quick stop for the uh, little cargo ship. Maybe he dropped off a few cars or no, there is still one car there. And uh, yeah, he has a small little one of his pickup lorries there. We will uh, go into the pub and watch the final of the junior rugby world championship where Ireland plays against France. I think this will be a, a fun event. We will um, find out soon. Jeanette is emptying the dinghy from water. Because it's liquid sunshine here. Yes. So, cheers. Cheers, cheers guy. Cheers. And I will. So 
France just won the the final, and uh, so the Irish was too happy. But we have a happy Frenchman here. Vive la France, girls. You also are happy, and it's awfully quiet at that table now. So now we are. We'll go back to the boat. Are you putting on your gears after the pub? It's still raining. It's, that's why they call it the Emerald Island because it's green and the it can't be green. If island is, is green for one, one reason and that's not because it's dry. Having a boat day today. Could we call it the boat day when you're in the boat the whole day because the wind is up and yeah. everything? Yeah, I guess. And you're doing your knitting? Yes. I'm doing some editing. And Put some yarn on Erin uh, Island. Yes. So it's uh, wool but it's from uh, Donegal and this is uh, wool from the black sheep. Yeah, so it's not colored anyway. It's not colored, no. It is how it comes when it comes from the black sheep of the family. Yeah, so this is going to be a, a new hat. For me. Maybe. Because I lost mine. Yes. But I still have the red one because yeah. you had the safety clip on that one. Yeah, smart. Smart thinking of you. Mm -hmm. I will show you how it looks outside a day like this. Our neighbor having a swim. Woo. And that one is spinning. Oh, really? I wonder how cold it is. See, it's very windy. It's like, uh, yeah, around 30 knots now. And they are both swimming. They are hardcore. My little knitting queen there. Yeah. Are we going to the funeral today? Yes, we are. And did you f understood the full story there with the skulls that was stolen yeah. and things like mm -hmm. that? So they, um, long time ago, they um, after the people were dead, they they did actually save the skulls, just like we saw in Hallstatt. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. church there with a full of a lot of skulls so the scientists from trinity college were here measuring measuring the skulls the heads on the living people on the living people doing all sorts of measurements and um, and, and the and morning then after they left they just took all, everything the, 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 the skulls in the church or monastery yeah. was gone yeah. so they thought it was easier to take all the old yeah. skulls and measure them as well so I asked one of the uh, uh, people living on the island uh, why they thought so many years now, this was happening 1890, uh, why they were measuring. And they said, well, you know, we were under British rule at that time, so maybe they were thinking that we were having less brains than the British, I don't know. But I think the opposite, he said. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they found out that, like, whoops, <laughs> and, and then kept it a secret. Because nobody know the results of it. No. <laughs> After how many years was it? 130 years or something. They will get the skulls back. Yeah. So they they, they stole them 1890. And yeah. They've been fighting the last five years to get them back. Yeah. And this will set a precedent, they say, because uh, this happened to all of the islands out here, but they are the first ones to get it back. Yeah, so this is a big thing for them. Yeah, yeah and I? they say all the news are here. And they made a special coffin and blah, mm. blah, blah, mm. and everything. So this will be uh, kind of interesting, I think. Yeah, 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 definitely. So here is the all the people that have signed for the... Petition. Yes, and so it was 13 skulls were stolen. Yeah. And now they are giving it back. And for everyone, this is a big thing. And here are some... I don't know if this is the protocol for uh, the measuring. I guess it is. It is, yes, it is the protocol. Yeah. yeah. And so one ish, they will have a ceremony in the church, which is over there, and then they will carry the. 
the coffin all the way here yeah. to the um, uh, cemetery. So the coffin is already in the church if we'd like to go and have a look at it. There are not sapiens. It's like Neanderthal. You see? <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a joke. We have in uh, our genome mm -hmm. one one percent around uh, one percent of gene of Neanderthal. Not me. See, <laughs> you too. You maybe have two percent you. Jeanette. But this man are gene with the morphologic uh, uh -huh. thing yeah. of Neanderthal. When you have a big part boss, here. And here very strong and the cheek, cheek very strong is from Neanderthal. Uh -huh. Sapiens are a little head all around. Uh -huh. Round. Round, round heads. Am, my head is not round. Not e neither am I. So I, I, I Lili have a look. Lily Quist is it's a, a, a lot, lot of Neanderthal. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a lot of Neanderthal here, I tell you. <laughs> Going to the church. There is the coffin. What do you say? It's a beautiful coffin. It's a beautiful coffin and a very nice one. Solid one. Oh, very nice. So there are uh, a lot of people gathering on the island for the big ceremony here. To keep it so big, you know. Um, there are a few, yeah. yeah. There's a group, you know, society. society. So this one is the second tallest in Ireland, the Irish Wolfhound. Uh, yeah, he's very happy, yeah. I travel around and uh, do this with him. Nope. Oh. I travel around Ireland and Europe. And there are whole and other countries too. So he travel around and have a lot of fun then? Yeah. 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 Be more than myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we just learned the story about the Irish wolfhound. The hund. The hund, yes. Oh, this is back, back like. And we can blame the Romans yet again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Have to get him to look good. Oh, the ring. So the so this dog was all over Europe once, but then the Romans came and and also kind of took them to Colosseum and fight and things like that. So they. There were none left except for no, Ireland, Ireland yeah. because the Romans never did get to Ireland. Exactly. Oh. Yes. So there we can say that the Romans were not such a great seafarers then. No, well, they came to uh, Britain, but that was the last. Yeah. yeah. They just crossed the channel. Yeah, they they Ireland, did. Ireland is too wide. And they didn't yeah. get uh, over the, the Hadrian Wall or something. The, yeah, yeah, so Scotland, the, Scotland they, they, was also they okay. They fought twice in Scotland, but never stayed. No. The Picts got them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So now the sermon starts. So we say bye to the second tallest dog in Ireland. He, yeah. And he goes around in all Europe and having a great fun because yes. he's a healthy one. And they try to breed up the healthy dogs. The part where the, what was it, like great, great, great granddaughter of the guy who, yeah. who stole it or yeah, took yeah, it yeah, from, yeah. Uh, uh, ha came here and apologized yeah. for something that like five generations or something. Yeah. I think like, this was a nice sermon, even though I'm not a religious man, but... Uh, and you're not a Catholic. 
Yeah, but it's uh, to be in the church every now and then. It means yeah. You reconnect with your soul. No, but it gives time to reflect on your life, maybe. Okay. Yes.